People with cystic fibrosis are living longer and better than ever before. New treatments offer hope and improved quality of life for children and adults. Hi, I'm Dr. Lael Yonker, a pediatric pulmonologist at Mass General for Children. So what is cystic fibrosis? Cystic fibrosis is a complex genetic condition that affects the lungs, the gastrointestinal or GI tract, the pancreas, and other organs. In people with cystic fibrosis, cells absorb too much sodium and water, causing mucus in the organs to become too thick and sticky. Most children with cystic fibrosis experience breathing problems, infections, inflammation, and even organ damage when mucus clogs the lungs. Mucus buildup in the pancreas may make it difficult for the body to absorb nutrients. This can lead to malnutrition and slowed growth. Mucus may also clog the bile duct, causing liver problems. A genetic change in the CFTR gene causes cystic fibrosis. CFTR stands for Cystic Fibrosis Transmembrane Conductance Regulator. People may get this condition if both parents carry a mutation in their CFTR gene. When only one parent has the gene, the child is a carrier of the gene, meaning they may pass it on to their own child, but won't develop the condition. There is no cure for cystic fibrosis, but it is manageable, and treatments can help people live active lives. What are the symptoms of cystic fibrosis? Symptoms in children may vary based on the severity of the condition and can change. The most common symptoms include wheezing, coughing up blood, diarrhea, constipation, and belly pain, delayed growth or low weight, chronic sinus infections, and salty skin. If you're a parent of a child with cystic fibrosis, or if you're concerned your child may have cystic fibrosis, you should contact a cystic fibrosis treatment center, such as the Cystic Fibrosis Center at Mass General Hospital. Call your child's pediatrician or specialist if your child has worsening symptoms, coughs or spits up blood, or has sudden shortness of breath or chest pain. Is there a screening test for cystic fibrosis? We can screen unborn babies or perform blood tests on newborns to screen for the CFTR gene mutation. We may also screen family members and couples who are considering getting pregnant. We use something called a sweat test to make a diagnosis. This test measures the amount of salt in your child's sweat. A high salt content in sweat may point to cystic fibrosis. It's a simple, painless test that takes less than an hour. Other tests we use are chest x-rays, CTs and ultrasounds to look at your child's lungs, and lung function tests to measure how the lungs work. How is cystic fibrosis treated? A cystic fibrosis specialist helps manage your child's symptoms and develops a plan that includes steps and techniques to clear the airway when it's clogged with mucus. This is called airway clearance therapy and is essential for most people with cystic fibrosis. Medications for cystic fibrosis include mucus thinners, antibiotics for lung infections, steroids and other drugs to reduce inflammation, inhaled bronchodilators to open airways, and CFTR modulators to improve the function of any organs affected by the condition, including the lungs. Lung transplant or liver transplant may be a life-saving option for people with severe organ damage. For certain people, clinical trials offer access to potential new treatments, including advanced medications. Our researchers are looking at ways to help children and adults live better with cystic fibrosis. We're searching for and testing new treatments and hopefully a cure. As your child grows, they will need ongoing monitoring and care. We support people of all ages with cystic fibrosis. Our pediatric and adult team members work closely together to ensure all ages get seamless, consistent care. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Layla Yonker. To learn more about other types of lung disease, click here and don't forget to subscribe.